Hey everyone, we're going to look at how to mess with melodies and harmony to further explore stuff. I was with a student this morning and we were looking at this this concept that I've been playing around with. And um, if you understand a little bit of theory, that's great. If not, I'll yeah, let's see if this works. I'm not going to go into too much detail. That's another thing. But if you have a scale, let's say C major, nice and easy, uh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, those notes are in the scale. Every one of those notes uh, works with every other note. It just depends on which notes, the distance between them. If I have a C with an F, that's the relationship of a C with an F. C with an A, that relationship. Uh, C with a B. Uh, so you just end up stacking different relationships on top of each other to form chords. If, for instance, that was really quick, so if that went like that, don't worry about it. Um, there's other ways, I will explain it in different videos. This concept, I had a melody, just come up with an idea. There you go, simple. But then when my, when my student played it, and he's He's like, oh, so that's the one going to the three to the five. And I said, well, it depends. It depends on the harmony that you've chosen. What scale is it in? Uh, what chord are you playing over the top of? And I said, what you can do, I'm in the key of C, but I can go through the chords within the key, play that melody, land on that last note, and then hit the root note of another chord within the key. Let me have a look. The lowest note available in the key, like a bass playing kind of note, would be E. So I'm going to play the melody. Listen to it with an E. Alright, okay, sounds fine. Now I'm going to listen to it with an F. Creates a different vibe. Now I'm going to play it with a G. With an A. Yeah, sounding cool. So I've played the same melody over each root note within the key. There'll be ones that you might be like, oh, I love it, sounds great, brilliant. And ones you hate. Who knows, it's all personal. But with just that, I've started to explore harmonic variation in my idea. So now, my ears enjoyed <laughs> the F. I like, in fact, I like the movement. Oh, well, that was terrible. Like that, I thought, oh, that sounded nice. So I don't have to play the lick every time. I like the interaction of those notes with the three root notes. One thing I will do is I'll use that concept. Maybe I'll play it two times and the second time round I'll change that note so there's like a resolution. So maybe... Why not? Sounds nice. So the concept, all the notes in a scale work with all the other notes in the scale. They, that's, what a no, that's what a scale is all about. You just throw them together in whatever order and it makes nice noises or it makes horrible noises. That's up to you to decide. There will be major chords, minor chords, all sorts, everything, you know, it's all there. So if you can start getting used to this concept of the scale and the family of chords that go with it and they all work together, maybe that alone can expand your your knowledge in the way you play. You look at what you can already do and think, all right, well, what key am I in? What are the notes in that key? All right, I'm gonna play that melody and change the chords underneath it to see what it sounds like. You can reharmonize a song by just using another chord within the, within the, the, the family, within the key, and just see what it sounds like. Any song that you, you know, um, if you know the key of the song, you can replace chords. You can change it up. You can mix things around. I'm not going to go too much further into that. In fact, I'm not going to go any further into that. I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. 
see if you can mess around with that. Play a simple melody and change the root note and just see what that does for you. And then if you have questions, hit me up. Hit me up for lessons, whatever, and just explore more stuff. And yeah, that'll do. Coffee time. See you later.